PeachTools.com. G'day, 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 guys. Pete and Peach Tools. It's awesome to see you here again today. Beautiful day here in paradise. Hey, anyway, guys, I was plasma cutting the other day, and the, and the little air valve on the plasma cutter got stuck for some reason, and it stopped all my air supply. And uh, I couldn't believe what happened to the torch, you know. So I thought, wow, I'll do a video on this, and I'll uh, try and run it without any air at all, and we'll see what happens to your plasma torch. See how long it takes to destroy the plasma torch with no air running through it. Uh, this is really for you new guys out there who are new to plasma cutting. I just want to show you how important the air flow through your plasma torch is. You can have the best plasma cutter in the world. If you haven't got the right air and you haven't got enough air, it ain't going to work and it's going to fry all your gear, guys. Anyway, same as usual, guys. You like my videos, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Come say good day at peachtools.com and let's get into it, eh? Now, guys, this is going to be a really, really short video. Right, just got my P80 plasma torch here, hooked onto my 40 amp plasma cutter, and we'll just cut something. Beautiful. See that, guys? Beautiful cut, no worries at all. That's running at 100 psi, or like I say, on my 40 amp plasma cutter. Now the other day when I was doing it, the uh, little control valve in the plasma cutter jammed up for some reason. I don't know if I had a piece of shit in it or what it had, but it stopped the airflow altogether. And I ended up doing this, and I just want to show you guys with no air pressure what happens to your plasma nozzles. So guys, we'll do the sun cut now, but with no air at all. You might want to shade your eyes a bit, because this is going to get bright. See that guy that doesn't cut, it just bloody burns. Burning the shit off the top of the steel, burning up the nozzle, and it's not good for your plasma cutter. So don't do this, guys. See the heat coming off there, guys? Absolutely boiling hot. We've got no air there to cool it down, we've got no air to make the plasma. It's putting a strain on your machine. It's just total, it's totally horrible. Look what it's done to the nozzle, guys. Check that out. Look what it's done to the nozzle. It's absolutely terrible, guys. So, <laughs> yeah, I would not advise you to have no air pressure or low air pressure when you're plasma cutting, guys, because it really doesn't do much for your machine. It does nothing for your nozzles. That one is absolutely shot now. Um, so that's the importance, guys, especially you new guys got to get your air pressure right, or you've got to have a decent amount of air pressure, guys. Mind you, this is pretty extreme. This is with no air pressure at all, but I'm just trying to prove a point. See how that's absolutely destroyed that tip, guys? Absolutely destroyed it. It's got a piece of crap sitting on top of it there, and it's still smoking. It's that hot, I can't even hold it. Can you see this here as well, guys? It's discolored the ceramic, and it... Oh, shit, that's hot. And it's made that awfully, awfully brittle. So if I just touch that now, chances are it's going to shatter. See what it's done to the steel, guys? It's melted big globules on there. You can see how it's tried to cut it along here, but it's just made one hell of a mess. Burned up the torch, burned up the consumables, and basically burned up the steel I'm trying to cut. So that's the importance of your ear, fellas. So what I'll do, guys, is I'll put my glove on, because this is really, really hot. It is absolutely friggin' hot as hot. And I'll take the ceramic off, and we'll have a look what we've done to the torch. I can feel the heat coming through my gloves, guys. Now that's made that awfully brittle. That is totally brittle now, that ceramic. Now I don't know if you can see that or not on here, guys. It's almost blue. Or you can see it on there if you... I don't know if you can or not. Let me re-grab it, guys. Can you see that cutting tip's gone blue in there? It's got that bloody hot, it's gone blue. And I can feel the heat coming through my glove now, even now, and we'll probably three or four minutes after I've switched it off. Yo, that's hot, Pete. Look at the electro, guys, it's totally shot. You can see that, it's, it's sort of like bored a hole in the middle of it there. Absolutely buggered. So don't try this, guys, but I just wanted to show you with no air what happens. I actually think that the air is more important than the plasma cutter machine, the model that you have. Luckily we haven't buggered the torch, see the torch is still pretty good guys, but um, I wouldn't do it for any longer than that because I could actually feel the heat coming up the handle. So I just dipped that in the back of the water guys, see what it's done at the end of that tip, it's actually shot it. 
and that was how many seconds? 10 seconds maybe that we were doing that for? So you imagine if you have the wrong air pressure going through your um, plasma torch, uh, it might take a little bit longer than 10 seconds, it might take you two or three minutes, but you'll bugger the tips just as easy as that. So it's all about air pressure, it's about volume of air that you have guys. So guys, I told you I was going to be short and sweet, and by gum was I short and sweet. I just wanted to emphasise to you new fellows out there, when you're just new to plasma cutting, how important the air is, the airflow is probably the most important thing for your plasma cutter. I don't even think it matters what brand plasma cutter you have, but you've got to have good air and you've got to have dry air, otherwise you end up looking like this. Anyway guys, same as usual, like my videos, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, come say hi Pete at PeteTools.com, and we'll see you next time with some more useless information. Bye guys. Peach tools dot com dot com dot com